This is a tour bus with a twist. No gazing at the Rocky Mountains for these visitors. They've come to the Mile High City to get stoned. Recreational marijuana use has been legal here for two years. It's a new way of life. Welcome to Denver, Colorado. Puff by puff, Americans are rehabilitating a drug which was once demonized. The police narcotics detail raids New York City fields of the insidious weed known as marijuana. Within a period of 10 years, a narcotic weed has become a national crime problem. Today, that insidious weed is a legal medicine in 25 states, and four others allow smoking for fun. But change comes slowly. We still deal with a lot of stigma, I mean, and that's something that cannabis consumers have dealt with our entire lives. We've been looked down upon and, and been treated like lesser than uh, the entire time. We raise more money than alcohol taxes do, and, and we don't cause nearly the problem. Well, this is not a cottage industry. This is marijuana manufacturing on a massive scale. And it's a business which has huge potential to create not just profits, but taxes too. But the chief prosecutor here in Denver says cannabis is causing crime. He has a message for voters elsewhere. Don't end up a stoner state like us. Why don't you wait? because you've got a guinea pig out there and it's called the state of Colorado. And why don't you see what happens? Why rush into this? You're making a public policy decision that could have an impact on an entire generation of Americans. But in the California sun, it's another story. The town of Desert Hot Springs fancies itself as a marijuana mecca. Big plantations are in the works and the price of this dusty land a sword. This back portion of my property right here. Is going Jason El Sasser is one of those hoping to cash in. There's 180,000 square feet approved just a couple hundred yards right over there. So we have a lot of big cultivation. And that is simply for medical use to begin with, that but is. it will get even bigger if, if it becomes recreational. Yes. It will get even bigger, yes. This, this is going to be a multi million dollar business multi-billion dollar business. But marijuana is not quite out of the shadows. Federal law still brands it as dangerous and prohibited. That may have to change as state after state just says no to the war on drugs. James Cook, BBC News, Denver. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Woo! <laughs>